All right, welcome back to our Tottenham career mode. This is going to be a big, big episode. We have two must win Champions League games. If we lose or draw, I think that means we're out of the Champions League because through three games, we only have one point. So Juventus is in first, Moscow is in second. We play them first in this episode. So if we beat them, we will be on four points and then they play Juventus next. And then we play Juventus last in the group. So we basically have to win all three games to give us a chance to advance to the knockout stage unless we're going to be knocked out, which would be an absolute disaster in our first season back in the Champions League. So this is going to be a big, big episode. All right, first game, we're taking on Spartak Moscow at home. If we draw or lose this game, we're pretty much out. So if there was ever a game where we need a good performance, we need three points, it is this one. Let's just jump straight into it and see what we can do. All right, come on, we need to win this. Even the announcer before the game said, if we don't win this, it means elimination. So we cannot let that happen. Let's get the job done at home. Give us a chance. I am actually nervous. I am nervous in a game of FIFA. All right, ball into Bergwijn. Let's try and bring this forward. And Dombele is making a decent run. I need a little bit of support though. Kane, oh, I should have just took the shot. Delhi can maybe get to that. Oh, I messed that up. I messed that up. All right, that is a ball over the top. Aria has to try and defend this. He's going to go back. Hoybeer tries and steal that, but he's pushed off him, I guess. That is a good ball through, and that is the first goal of this game for Spartak Moscow. Why are we so bad in the Champions League? It makes no sense at all. We play so well in the Premier League, and then when it comes to the Champions League, we just play terrible. And we're already 1-0 down in this game. 19 minutes. Panic mode is on. Dombele into Kane. Gonna try and play that to Sun. That was not a great pass. This would be a great time for a goal. That's a decent cross in. It comes out. All right, Reggion to Hoybeer, Delhi, Kane. Give it back to Delhi. Delhi, I need this goal. Oh, I should have just shot. He took so long to get his first touch. Reggion to Hoybeer. Bergwijn just it's a good tackle from their center back it's a good ball through whenever they come forward I'm just so nervous we cannot concede a second Hoiberg play that to Sun please keep that in or actually Reggion keeps it in very well come on I need I need a better run I need a better run Hoiberg Sun actually why am I getting players mixed up but that shot is blocked and that is already half time all right, that was not a good first half. I don't get why we're playing so bad. It's giving me a headache why we cannot play well in the Champions League. Well, this half is going to make or break our Champions League, so this is pretty big. Delhi, that's a very good run from Delhi Alley. If we ever needed a goal, it is this. Going to give it to Kane. Kane! Oh, Harry Kane puts that in. All right, grab the ball. Grab it. He doesn't want to grab it. All right, 54th minute, 1-1. Good goal from Harry Kane. We need more, though. We need more. Cannot draw this game. Cannot draw it. Tombele up to Deli Alley. Give that to Hoybeer. Kane, if you make a better run, you could be in. Into Ndombele. Son, I see you. Son. Son gets a shot away. That's blocked. That was a good chance. Reggion, great still. Get that to Deli. Kane. Kane, oh, that pass needs to be better. We make that pass so often. Why can't we make it there? Dombele to Kane. Deli. That is timed. Perfect. Oh, it's saved. That is so unfortunate. Just give me this goal, please, FIFA. Deli to Hoybeer. Give that to Deli. Dombele. And Dombele, please. Oh, keeper makes a good save. I want this goal so bad. All right. Bale's coming on and La Celso is coming on the midfield. Celso. Scrinier to La Celso. Celso's gonna stop. Play this to Kane. Deli, are you on side? No, you're offside. Uh, man, 15 minutes. I am not liking this. Kane. Is Deli on side? Is he on side? No, he's offside again. Deli Alley is offside again. You cannot be serious. Oh my, I cannot believe that. I didn't mean to even pass to him. They are just keeping the ball in the corner. What is this? Scrinier, thank you. We need this now Kane Lasso Delhi I see you Bale Bale Gareth Bale puts that in 91st minute oh 
my lord it took a long time but 91st minute oh my god my heart i had never been more frustrated in a game of fifa all oh, that pass barely got to him too gareth bale keeps our champions league hopes alive i cannot believe that winks is gonna come on for hoy beer 90th minute this should be it blow the whistle please two that's two minutes blow it blow the whistle no no oh i was about to say i was about to say but 2-1 win oh i can't believe it's like all the way to the 91st minute for bale to score but our champions league hopes are still alive Whew, that was a big win big win all right our first champions league win of this season so in our next game we play lask which we should win we drew against them in the first game that we played them in and then spartak plays juventus so i'm hoping that juventus can beat them and that means we'll climb over moscow and then we have to beat juventus in the last game still a tall tall hill to climb but i think we can do it but wow, we've put ourselves in such a stressful position but our next game is against everton in the premier league they're sitting in seventh we are in third if you look at all the way down to top six it is very very close so it looks like it's a very competitive premier league season all right so for this game against everton playing zaniola for deli ali Kambinga for ndombele and then Tanganga, Aarons, Sanchez come in at the back. Also, Anana playing this game. Give him a chance against Everton. See what he can do in this game. But this game should be less stressful than the last one. So let's see what we can do against Everton at home. All right, let's hope Onana can have a game better than his first two or three for this team. But I feel bad for my second team. I meant to play them or I was meaning to play them in Champions League games. But because the Champions League is so tight, cannot risk not playing the first team in those games so we'll get a chance in this game see what some of these second team players can do against a very decent everton team sanchez into hoybeer zaniolo was in that just was not a good pass see what zaniolo can do in this game i think it's his first premier league start i think get that to hoybeer good touch kane into zaniolo get this to gareth bale gareth bale gareth bale oh what a finish that is he is in form he is making me rethink that starting right wing spot because Bergwijn, you know, he's he hasn't been doing that much this season. He scored a few times, but for some reason, when Bale is on the right, he feels so lethal. I mean, this is a very good finish. Powered pass Pickford. And once again, Premier League, we do not struggle that much. But in Champions League, we struggle. So versus Everton, what is it? 11th minute already up 1-0. So why can't we do this in the Champions League? James Rodriguez, Tanganga should have that. Good pass out to Sun as he's fouled, but Ref never gives us those calls. He will just steal it back himself. Ramiz Rodriguez coming back down this wing. Hoybeer, great steal into Zaniolo. Bring this forward, play that to Sun. First time pass to Kane. Why are our through balls? I tapped that and it went so far ahead of Kane. Hoybeer to Bale. Get that to Kane. Zaniolo holds up his run into Kemavinga son son that is 2-0 why why is the premier league so easy for us compared to the champions league i am so confused we will struggle to even beat spartak moscow and then we play everton a few days later and we play like the premier league champions that we are so it's just it's just confusing a little bit frustrating but 2-0 up 28 minutes in at least we can maybe build some confidence going into that champions league game good pass into james this is looking dangerous sanchez good pass good steal that was looking dangerous and we still do not get it out okay danger is still there and they get one back oh that's my fault i should have passed it out i passed it like straight into an everton player's feet that is irritating but they get one back it was a good move 36 the minute 2-1 sanchez to hoybeer get that to zaniolo kane get that to sun sun cuts in Goes for a shot. Oh, we hit the crossbar, I think. Oh, that was such a good move. Kimavinga trying to defend this. I don't know what he's doing with it, but gets it to Allen. Oh, this is looking dangerous. Moise Keen. Trying not to fall for these skill moves. All right, Aarons wins the ball, and we get it out. And that is halftime. All right, 2-1. We have the lead, so let's try and build from that. All right, Everton are keeping possession in the second half, which is usually not a good thing. When the CPU has a lot of possession, that means... They are definitely more likely to score, but Kimavinga steals that. 
All right, let's try and add to this lead. Kane is making a decent run. He stops. Continue your run. All right, that works. That definitely works. Skips to the right. Harry Kane. Oh, Pickford. Just, just straight at him. Bale wins that header, though. Actually, beautifully. Daniolo. Get that to Kane. Harry Kane. Going to go for a shot outside the box. And don't know where that is heading, but that is out of the stadium. Quite the effort from Sir Harold Kane. It's a good ball through. Try to not let this in. Oh, that was very lucky. That was very lucky. Keane was so close to getting just a toe to that to put that in. That's a Tanganga. Kimavinga is making a decent run. And try and get that to Zaniolo. Just once again, our through balls are not where they need to be. Kimavinga, good pass from Hoybier. Kane, there is a good run from Kane. Is Pickford going to get that? No, he is not. Kane's going to score our third goal of this game. 3-1, that might be all three points for us in this one. Finally, Kane makes a good run, and that is a good finish. Pickford came out, but Kane gets it past him. All right, Lucas, Vinicius, and Winks coming on last 15 minutes. 3-1, we're looking good in this game. We are looking good. All right, Winks, Winks. I think someone's in. Someone is very in. Lucas to Vinicius. Oh, that pass did not quite get to him. Thomas, good steal from Sanchez. That is a strong tackle. I am liking that. Zaniolo, good pass to Vinicius. He was under pressure. Now, what can we do with this? Try to get that to Lucas. Just a good interception. But that is full time. 3-1 against Everton at home. That is a decent performance. That is three points. Cannot be too angry with that. Gareth Bale is definitely giving me some thought to that starting right wing spot. All right, so after 12 games, we're sitting top of the Premier League, even though it is still very, very close. Our next game is against Aston Villa. They are in 10th. And then we have the must-win Champions League game four days after this game. So we're going to put out a rotated team. So we're putting out Lucas, Vinicius, Bergwijn, Lasso, Kemavinga, Hoybier, Reguillon, Screener, Dyer, and Daugherty. So we should be able to get the win against Aston Villa. So we're going to quick sim this. Hopefully, we can still get the three points. Let's find out out and it's a 2-1 win all right Bergwijn and Reguillon scoring all right not mad about that another three points and we stay top of the Premier League all right so Napoli have come in for Sizoko for 20 million I feel like that's a decent move for him I mean Napoli probably are still in the Champions League probably get more playing time so we're gonna accept that for Sizoko 20 million and we'll see if he accepts that move all right time for LSK in the Champions League this is a must win game just like the last one so we're hoping that Juventus can beat Spartak Moscow. And then if we win our game, we'll be in second on seven points. If Juventus and Moscow draw and we win, we'll be tied with Moscow. But our goal difference is better. Only by two, though. So we just have to focus on our game. LASK have not won a game in the Champions League through four games. So we should beat them in this. We have to beat them in this. All right, I'm playing Bale over Bergwijn in this game. He's been playing very well lately, so let's see if he can do that in this game for us again. But we really should dominate this team. That's what we should do, but it's never that simple. Let's just jump straight into this must-win game. Let's see what we can do. Man, I feel like this is going to be just as stressful as the last game. Come on, we need a dominating win. We need one of these in the Champions League at least. This is the team to do it against. I want a lot of goals in this game. Let's see what our team can do. All right, should win that. Deli Alli should head this to Kane. He does. Does pretty well. Get that to Ndombele. Going to flip this up to Kane. This would be a beautiful start. Harry Kane puts that in. What a start that is. That is the start that we needed. Oh, just a simple pass. And Harry Kane in form. Once again, scoring. Left-footed half volley. That is a good finish. 1-0 up. All right, that has settled the nerves a little bit, but one is not enough. I want more than that. Oh, Kane just steals that. What is happening? But I want more. I definitely want a lot more in this game. It's a decent ball. This is looking dangerous. We cannot concede after scoring. That just cannot happen. Defense is doing pretty well to pressure them. Oh, and Dombele should have stealed that. Should have. Toyby gets that, and we're going to get this out, thankfully. Now, let's counterattack. Kane, I see you, son. You are going to go on a run. Cut inside. Play that to Kane. Delhi. Oh, Delhi, where are you going? Where are you running? Just step back and you have an open shot at goal. Oh, and Dombele. Beautiful. That was not a foul. That was not a foul. All right, Reguillon. 
Give that to Indombale. I see you, Delhi. I see you, Delhi. Please, please finish this. Oh, what a finish that is from Delhi Alley. 2 0 up. Oh, this is such a relief. Two goals. It's not over yet. Far from over. But that is a good start to this game. Good finish from Deli Alley. That is a thunderous finish. Keeper has no chance. All right, 25 minutes, 2-0. All right, we are looking a lot better in this game. Like I said, job is not done. Let's keep this up. Reggion, beautiful steal. Oh, Arie wins that beautifully. Oh, what kind of steal was that? Deli Alley keeps that. Where are their center backs? I do, where are they at? Where are they at, literally? I'm going to take advantage. Maybe we're not. Was that like FIFA just like canceling out my luck? I don't know what that pass was, but all right, Hoybeer into Kane. Gonna get it back to Hoybeer. Some room here, Delhi. Not a great pass, but somehow Delhi still gets to it. That is 3 0. All oh, the relief, the relief. All oh, 3 0 up before halftime. That is exactly what we needed. All right, their defense is doing some questionable things, but 3 0 up. I am. Happy with this. Good steal from Toby. You got to keep strong defensively. Don't do this. Do not do this. That's going to be a foul. All right. Just try to not do it again. We cannot give up a silly goal, especially considering goal difference might play a factor in this. Probably the last attack of this first half. He could have been in there. Ref actually bailed us out, I think. But 3 0 up at halftime. I am once again happy with this. All we got to do is keep it up. Good steal from Horbier. I like to see that. I like it, Kane. Get on your bicycle, Kane. He's just blowing by their defense. Gonna cut in. Kane. Oh, that is top right corner from Harry Kane. Two for Kane. Two for Deli Alley. That is 4 0. All right, we're finally bringing our Premier League form over to the Champions League. This is a really good finish. Oh, that is top right corner from Kane. All right, this lead is pretty safe. 4 0. And this is probably gonna be good for our goal difference. So. This is the performance that we needed, and it is not over yet. Their defense looks very vulnerable, so we're going to try to score some more. It's a good ball through. This is looking dangerous. Please get that out. We concede one. Uh, that is not good for our goal difference, but this game is pretty much safe still. 4-1. Cannot see them coming back in the last, what, 30 minutes? Can always try and get that goal back in our goal difference. This is a good chance to Kane. For the hat trick, we'll get that goal back. We will take that right back. Kane scores a hat trick, and that is 5-1. This is the performance that I needed. We do this in the Premier League very often. Finally, we do it in the Champions League. All right, Vinicius, Lo Celso, and Doherty are on for this last part of this game. It's pretty much settled. Just resting a few players. Let's move this around. Vinicius, get that to Delhi. That pass should have been better. All right, LaCelso, good pass. LaCelso, it looks like he could be in. That is a good challenge on LaCelso. But this game looks like it's pretty much over at this point. Probably the last attack of this game if they can get the ball forward. But that is full time. Ref blows the whistle. That is the performance that we needed in the Champions League desperately. Harry Kane with a hat trick. That sets up the final game of the Champions League to be a huge one against Juventus. But that pretty much depends if they beat Spartak Moscow. So let's find out. All right, let's find out. I have not seen for myself. I'm hoping Juventus was able to beat Spartak Moscow. Let's find out. And they drew. So we're in second tied on points with Spartak Moscow. Our goal difference is like plus six better than theirs. So that is a good thing. But that last game in the group stage facing Juventus away from home, that is going to be the penultimate game to decide if we make it to the knockout stage or not. That is just going to be a huge game because Spartak are playing LASK and I'm guessing they're going to get the win in that game. So we basically have to beat Juventus. We can hope that their game ends in a draw, but we would still have to get a draw at Juventus. So that is just going to be a huge, huge, very, very stressful game. All right, Suzuko has been sold to Napoli. So when the window opens, Suzuko will go to Italy. Pretty decent amount for him, 15.5 added to our budget. All right, to end this episode and end the month of November, our last game is against Brighton. They're in 12th. So the first team should have no problem getting the win here. La Celso comes in and Kamavinga comes in. Well, let's see what this team can do. We're going to quick sim this. Hopefully we get the win. And it's a 3-1 win. Winks, Toby scoring. And then Harry Kane scoring. Not a surprise there. 3-1, another three points. Cannot be mad about that. So after 14 games, we are sitting top of the Premier League with a four-point lead. 
So other teams have dropped points, it looks like, even though it's still very, very tight at the top. You can see they're only separated by a few points all the way down to seventh and eighth. But the defending champions, us, still in first. That is good to see. All right, our scouts have found a young player in Germany, Torben Martin. Doesn't look amazing in terms of overall potential. Still a lot to be scouted, but he's valued at two million. So we're going to sign him up. All right, so Torben Martin, 65 overall, 6'2". Looks pretty good for his age, only 15. Five-star skills, three-star weak foot. Pretty decent, 15-year-old, 65 rated. That is why his value is so high. Well, we are into the month of December. In the next episode, we'll play the most important game of this season against Juventus. We need a win in that game. That is going to be huge. We also play Arsenal, Wolves. A lot of games against teams that are very beatable, so we might try and get through December in the next episode. Then we'll be into January where we can think about possibly strengthening the team further. We have about 77 million in our transfer budget, so we have to start thinking about possible signings we want to make. But that is going to be it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button down below. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you have not. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you all have a great day.